Hi, I'm Dimas Tadeu and I'm here to talk about a painting. It's called The Moneylender and His Wife and it was painted by Quentin Metzis, a Flemish painter. Why is it so important then, you might ask? Well, it's important because it's one of the finest examples of the Flemish painting during the Renaissance, a thriving period for that region. It's so important that the famous art historian E. H. Gombrich would call it the conquest of reality. He does so because by using uh, techniques and devices such as perspective, oil painting, mirrors, windows, lenses, the painters could finally portray the reality as it is. So it's the first time in human history where you can see normal people, not sacred figures and not religious motives, in a really realistic way. So to the left, you have the man, and he's dealing with money, an earthly thing. Uh, the money was considered by McLuhan an extension of our inner wishes and motivations. It's desire made matter, and the man represents that on that picture. A total contrast with the wife uh, on the right. She wears lighter shades in, in her clothes, and she's reading a book that represents not only knowledge, but sacred knowledge. It's a religious book because it has a Madonna in it. So while the man represents the earthly life, the woman represents spiritual and rational, maybe chastity and religious life. But the most interesting detail here is the mirror in the table. If you look among the objects, you see this mirror and it reflects a woman by the window in front of the couple. So, hundreds of years later, Foucault and Lacan would discuss a similar device used in Las Meninas by Velázquez and how it changes the places of observer and observed. This was already done here in Flemish painting. Actually, Holbein also did that and also Van Eyck in other paintings. But here uh, we can see a fine example where Matzis get to do the same thing and uses the same trick to extrapolate the painting from its frames. It actually also happens if you look at the right side uh, behind the woman where a door opens to the outside and two men are talking there, maybe bargaining something. Another reminder that a painting goes a lot further than the frames might suggest.